Hey, welcome to um, King Tutorials' uh, first Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be making a, a desktop background um, that looks pretty neat. It'll look something like this, if I can get this in my recording frame, um, which it looks, you know, looks nice and professional. Um, but the first thing you want to do, if you want to get the full quality, you're going to want to, and I'm using Windows Vista by the way, you're going to want to right click on um, the desktop, you're going to personalize, and click display settings, and find what um, what your resolution is. So mine's 1440 by 900 pixels. So um, when you make when you're gonna you're gonna go to file new when you make a new one you want to use that width and that height of what your desktop is but I'm not going to do that for today just because I am running this on a smaller screen so I'm just gonna go with this I don't even know why it gave me that but that's why what I'll do and name it whatever you want there you go okay now this is pretty small let's make this a little bit bigger Yeah, I don't really like the dimensions they gave me. Um, not exactly sure why they did, but that's okay, I guess. Um, yours probably won't look like this. If you're going to do it for a desktop background, it's probably going to be like longer on the width than the height. Um, but it doesn't matter. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your paint bucket tool. You might see a gradient tool right here, but um, all you do is you hold down like your left mouse click on that and you click paint bucket tool. Now what you're going to want to need is a black background or you can use any other dark background to make it look the best and fill this background with black. Then what you're going to want to do is create a new layer, right, this button right here. And you're going to want to go to your brush tool and change the master diameter to one pixel and the hardness to zero. Um, and make sure you have a circular brush like one of these and then change them to that that's very important and also change your color to white that's also important um, then you're gonna wanna take your pin tool and draw like a diagonal line with it by clicking where you want it to start and end then on your diagonal line, you're going to want to make it curved. You can do any kind of curve you want. You can do something crazy like this, but I'm just going to do like a little bit like that. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to right click and go to stroke path and make sure that this is on brush and this is checked. The simulate pressure is checked. So brush, if it's on pencil, you want to go to brush and simulate pressure and click OK. Um, then you want to hit escape twice on your keyboard and then you'll get this one line right here um, the next thing you want to do if you're on windows you're going to want to hold control and click on this layer to select that and if you're on a mac i'm pretty sure it's apple and click it um, then go to edit define brush preset all this is going to be doing is making a new brush that looks like that curve right there and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it like Cur5 because I don't know how many cursors I actually have made but I know I haven't made five. So now you have that preset of a brush whatever. Click on your brush and go select it. Go all the way down and select it. It'll be our last one and then you're going to want to make a new layer and if you don't want this line here, I guess it really doesn't matter, but you can click this little eye so you don't see it anymore. Then get rid of or deselect that. Then take your brush tool and click on this button right here, the brushes button. And go to shape dy check shape dynamics, go there, change the angle jitter to 4% and the roundness jitter, jitter to 4%. Then go to scattering and change the scatter. I don't know if it's default or what, but I keep scatter on 4% um, just to make it easier. Everything's on 4%. 
Um, so, and then smoothing should be checked. Now, you're going to want to select your new layer. Hopefully that saves through layers. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, and you're just going to want to draw like a design. So, you know, like this kind of. Now, if you don't like a design, then you just hold control and press Z. We're going to edit undo. And then you can just draw a new one. So, um, that's not very good. I don't like that. Um, okay, so that's good enough. It's not, I would actually, you know, go redo it a couple more times to make sure I like it. But it doesn't matter uh, for this tutorial. It just shows you the gist of it. So now you have this weird, like, gray hair. It looks gray even though it's white on um, this black background. Looks kind of like hair, I guess. Um, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on layer 2 or right click and choose blending options and click drop shadow change the color to a pink or you can probably change it to a different color it just might not look the same I'm not sure I haven't really tried it with another color um, and okay then the distance should be zero the size should be zero and the contour needs to be this curved line right here Let's so double click that in the blend mode I forgot make it normal so that changes as you can see all these lines to pink basically that's all that does then you want to click on outer glow and make the opacity or opacity or whatever you want to call it to 100 percent the blend mode normal and you want this gradient this preset rainbow gradient um, and that is all for that and you get this nice pretty blue pink thing I don't know um, anyway what you're now gonna wanna do is you're gonna right click on layer 2 not the picture layer 2 but layer 2 like this area and go to duplicate layer and that's okay the only reason we're doing this is so we can change the outer glow from this one that has um, that has no color or whatever um, on the sides to this one that does. And then you get this weird, you know, thing. Now, the final thing that we have to do is we have to make one more new layer. And you get your paintbrush and go to um, this and change the hardness to zero. Change the master diameter to about, um, depends how big your thing is. I'm just going to change mine to about 82. That's good. Whoops. Okay, now um, you're going to want to just make whatever colors you want. So I'm just going to do just some stuff. This doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. You can just do whatever colors you want, and it doesn't matter. And to make it look good, you might want to go, like, kind of good. You might want to go through some of your other colors and spread it out just a little bit. And you can use dark colors, even though light colors look the best. Um, but it doesn't matter. Anything. There we go. And then one more of that blue. Whoops. A little bit more up here. Okay, now that's what you have now. It looks like an H kind of in here. You don't have to do what exactly as I did. Just do whatever colors you want. And then you're going to want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change the radius to 100 pixels. And then it looks like this, which actually looks kind of cool, except it's not what we want. Um, we want to now double-click on Layer 3 and change the uh, Blend Mode to Color. And then you get this nice effect right here, and that is... Awesome. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I'm going to try to make a tutorial every day um, on this account. So just subscribe and keep looking for my tutorials. I'm not just going to be doing Photoshop. I'll be doing Vegas um, and maybe some game tutorials like how to find stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, that's about it. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.